idea. What I'm going to be focusing on today is going to be my control surfaces. Now the control surfaces are a little bit different than the body. The control surfaces were, were hollowed out and they were wrapped with fiber. So what, what we need to replicate is that look. And that look is what we're going to be getting into. If you can look in here, if you get in close to this rudder, so if we look at the rudder, you could see where there's actual seams in here. And those aren't panel lines, like metal panel lines. These, that's, that's fiber that was wrapped. So we're going to try to get that look. If you come over here, you could see right in here on the aileron, same deal. We have to create these templates to be able to create this look. That's what I'm going to show you. Get this, you want to cut out this shape. This shape is what we're going to use for the template. This stencil will be used to go on top. That's going to be, these will be the marks that we'll be putting tape inside of. Okay, with this part, there's a number of ways. All we, all we basically need to do is we need to transfer this onto this base. You could use a pen if you chose to. You could put it on, you can take tape and you can lay your tape uh, down on a wax paper or some kind of silicone paper. What I'm using is, I'm using, this is a label. This is basically a clear label material. And it has a liner on the back and it has a sticky part on the front. So it's kind of like tape with a liner on it that we can peel off. And I just need to make a real simple template. And this is how I like to do it. A little filler primer. gives me my shapes, I need to cut those out. You're going to see why in a minute. Now, you ask, why did I cut this out? Ultimately, I need to get these onto here. Just like where I'm happy with how this looks. Check this out. So, start with this one. This goes to here. Sticky. Set that right in there. All right, see now, take off our template. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. But that mimics right in here. All right, so what we're going to need is we're going to need supplies. We're going to need our epoxies. We're going to need a toothpick, the mixing strip, and the graphite tape. This chart pack graphic tape is what's going to get some of our, our seams in here. The whole look that we want to try to get is a look of fabric with rivets sort of wrinkling the fabric inside of where it was attached, where that fabric was stretched and attached. This is the look we're going for. How are we going to replicate that? We're going to put epoxy in. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got my tape into the, into the patterns that we have. Here's our patterns. 
And let's get ready. So 30 minute epoxy, that's gonna give us about seven to 15 minutes of working time. It's pretty cold out in the garage today. The epoxy's real thick. Don't have to put very much. And all we're gonna do is try to replicate this look is inside we're just going to put a little bit of epoxy. What we're hoping for is this is going to replicate and I'm just going between those between the seams there. I don't need very much. If you can zoom in you can sort of see the little lines of epoxy in there. And what we're hoping is that these ultimately replicate little hinge and little rivets coming through the, the cloth. That's what I would think. You don't have to put very much in. Now as we put the primer on and as we sand this after we get the primer on um, this will all just smooth out it's not going to be too noticeable but there's going to be a few little marks I'm hoping uh, we're going to find out all right so we've laid down the epoxy to make the wrinkles of, or at least give the effect of wrinkles between these seams as we um, try to replicate uh, this fabric look so the next thing I'm going to do, got the epoxy, it's dried, took a few hours to dry, I'm going to get the spot putty. Now with the spot putty, we're just going to add a little bit just to smooth this out a little bit. We're going to just come, kind of just blend it in. So this is the chart pack graphic tape. What's this gonna do? This is gonna let me get a panel line in here for my trim tabs. So. Make sure you have a sharp blade, that's really important. All right, there we go. Now we're ready to spray. Next thing, okay, so
All right, so we've got the tape pulled off. Got a nice looking fabric pattern surface. This is where the trim tab is. So you can see this is looking pretty good. So what I want to do is I want to smooth it out ever so slightly. I'm going to use my medium sander here and I'm just going to hit it a little bit. And these are just it's not, not giving too much. It's kind of knocked some of the tops off of that epoxy. You can see I'm just softening it up a little. Not much. Doesn't need much. A quick hit. A little bit around the back. <clears throat> also in here, in some of these areas right here, I'm just going to let that feather out. So I'm going to give this a little bit of a roundness. And just yeah, get in there. Soften that out. I'll do both of those. And I'm not really hitting very much, not sanding very much. Doesn't take much to knock down that raised surface. And one more time. Pretty happy with that. Clean that up. And we'll be able to give that one more spray of filler. So there we go. You can see where some of the high areas have been knocked off.